Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is Dixie. Dixie. And we're Love Up for Life. For 175 weeks, we've been traveling around in this big yellow box converting things like that bus back there into homes. That's right, guys. This is week two of this built this bus building project, uh, and uh, we cannot wait to show you all of the awesome work that Shane has gotten done. Be sure and stay tuned until the end so that we can tell you how to contact us so that Shane can build something for you, and also how you can get your hands on some of the jewelry that you'll be watching me make in this video as well. Be sure and hit those thumbs up and subscribe buttons and comment below and share this video on your personal Facebook pages because that is the best way to help us grow and help us find our next opportunity. So last week, I spent a lot of time preparing this bus for what's about to happen to it this week. Y'all come inside and see where it's at. All of this was done before I got here. My job is I've moved the couch from across the bus over to here. There's gonna be a TV entertainment center here. I put in this toilet flange yesterday and our toilet, which is somewhere right there, <laughs> is being mounted here. We're building a shower. I deleted this emergency exit yesterday as well. And I'll be installing solar panels up on top of this bus too. I've also built this bed back here, which is also going to house our electronics as well as a whole lot of storage underneath it. Yo, hang on, this week's gonna be fun. All right, I got my wall put back together and I've started moving this direction. As you can see here, I marked out my shower pan as well, this red line on the floor. And I've even tested where the uh, water drain is gonna go. As you can see, I did a small pre-drill and it landed beautifully underneath. Let's get this thing finished up so we can see what it looks like. Well, I've got my work lights on, so that means the sun's gone. I think I'm gonna call it a day, but I wanted to show you what got done. I framed in where the toilet is gonna go, and I also put back up the wall I originally built and glued every single joint, as well as built a whole new wall. As you can see there, my shower's lined out on the floor in red pencil. All I have left to do is connect these two walls together and I'll do that tomorrow. I like how it's turning out. It'll look different tomorrow. What we have here is a fine specimen of a beautiful March morning in South Texas. It's gonna be warm today. Y'all come on in and see what I'm working on. I've got to get this bathroom finished being framed today. So I've been using this as my template for my door. This was one of the pre-existing walls when I got here. And I'll be using some of that wood to make a door probably. But I've got to get this wall to make a 90 degree angle and meet up with this door. So I can start on doing the plumbing and everything else for this little cubicle. Today will be fun. Something else. It looks like, oh, we've got uh, the entertainment area framed in, the toilet area, the shower. It's coming along quick. I don't think this one's going to take very long at all. I don't either. 
Now that we got the roof tended to, we can come and get to going. I pulled him away from bus building for just a few minutes. For something very important. Very important indeed. An impromptu tie-dye party. Tis the season, y'all. If you can see, I got my big bucket of paint up there on the roof. I've been adding Henry's Tropical this afternoon. I've got one coat on. I'll come back and do a touch up of that coat tomorrow and then I'll do a whole second coat over the top of all of that after it dries. In the meantime, I wanna show you guys what I got done inside today as well. I finished framing up the bathroom. All that's left now is to build a door and put it in that hole right there. It'll be from here to here, which is at of a bit a bit of an angle. It's not just a straight 90 degree angle door. I also started working on tying the plumbing in as well. The shower faucet is gonna be running here and it'll be one of those on a hose and you'll hang it up up there. And then our water heater is gonna be mounting back there. I still have to do a split off for the toilet. Boy, I just have a ton of stuff to do. There's, there's all sorts. I'll see y'all tomorrow. First thing this morning, Shane is making his way back up on that roof to do a little more painting. And I am checking out our tie-dye work. We've got them all untied here. As you can see, my tank tops and shorts turned out quite well. But uh, Shane, as good as he is at building buses, did not do as good of a job on his tie-dyes. I'm gonna see what I can do to salvage them though. We still got a whole lot of dye left. Well, it either sprinkled a little last night or there was just a lot of moisture in there creating dew. It was a little cool. But nonetheless, the top of the bus is wet this morning, so I can't really get to painting it. Guess we'll go work in here. Oh dear. Y'all see that? I may have left this crack last night. <laughs> got us a buddy stuck in here. I gotta free him. Oh dear. I hope he doesn't peck my eyes out. I do believe that Texas sunshine has said goodbye to me. I got some of my touch-up paintwork done on the roof. Fun fact about this particular product. Any of these elastomeric products, I end up going through a lot of paint brushes. So I usually buy these little chip brushes as they call them, but just very cheap paint brushes because there's really not a good way to clean them after this paint sets. And in this temperature, it sets rather rapidly. So the container that you're holding your paint in, you got about 30, 40 minutes to an hour before it really starts to coagulate, if you will, around the outside of it. So once it sets, it forms a nice rubbery texture or silicone. It's 100% silicone. Also, once you get that coating up there, it feels like it gives you 
some added grip when it's dry, but the second there is moisture up there, it becomes a slip and slide. So do be cautious of that if you put silicone-based products on top of your rig. Come check out what I did inside today. Look at that, there's walls. Really starting to see the shape of things. I'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll make it look different. Boy, it gets exciting when it starts coming to shape. I've been diligently working, trying to get all these panels cut for this bathroom, and I've achieved my goal. Now for the fun part. I have to take all these back down because I still need to add sound deadening material to this window delete, as well as pack all of it with insulation before these can go up. I'm also building this so this bottom piece here is removable because that's where our plumbing is gonna run. And I like to make sure that you can always get to the plumbing pipes in case there ever is a leak. You wanna be able to work on that leak or repair it without having to completely disassemble your bus. A little forethought goes a long way. All right. It's time to do something most people don't like doing, cutting holes in a bus. I'm gonna be mounting the water heater right there. So I gotta make a hole that big to get it in and out. Let's make some sparks fly. Well, y'all, it's sunset time. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I did get this handy dandy box built because there is a water heater in there. I'll put a face on it and then it'll be buried inside of a cabinet I'm building here so you'll never even know it's present. I also finished up the bathroom panels today. Everything's glued into place except for the things that I need to remove which is this wall, so electrical and plumbing can run. And I also have a vent pipe that I have to put in that goes down to the black tank. It's gonna run in this wall as well. So these are actually four individual panels and they can come off. We'll do some more tomorrow, I promise. It's another beautiful morning in Texas. Y'all come check out what I'm working on today. I'm gonna be re-cramming this wall, or all of these walls with this type of insulation. This is what was used on the front half of the bus, so I'm gonna continue using it through the back half of the bus. Also, I'm gonna be working on this little sliding couch bed frame. If you guys are into converting any sort of vehicle, you've probably seen something like this. I'm gonna be adjusting it a little so it works better, so we'll have a bit of a lesson on these types of beds. As well as, I'm gonna try to get this wall finished down on this side of the bus and maybe even some of these exterior walls on the shower today. Let's see what we can do. Good morning, Dixie. Morning, babe. Hey. How's it going in here? <laughs> Fantastic. I pulled out the couch this morning. I've got some tune-ups to do to it to make it look pretty and work good. And I am building this wall out. It's starting to take a shape, you know? It is. I'm starting to see the end already. This one's going by fast. I agree. So I've diligently been trying to get this beadboard back where it belongs today. We've made some progress, but I've built this little thing here and I'm gonna show you why. This particular bus has rear heaters on it, as well as a rear air conditioner. And the original designer wanted to leave them. And that allows heat to be generated while you drive down the road, which is important when it's cold. 
Um, because of that, we have these coolant lines, which a lot of times get deleted up at the motor, or they get deleted under the bus. There's many different ways to go about it. I'm not a diesel mechanic, so I'm not gonna speak as to which way is the best way. I know this way doesn't cause any problems. The only problem we do have is I have to work around all this piping. So my idea is I'm gonna build a storage cabinet all down the face of this so I can box over this thing and it's not just some goofy hump on the side of the wall. That's also where you fill the diesel and there's a little turtle shell that goes over the top of it. Let's keep going. Well, y'all, that sun's going down. Time to say goodbye to the bus for the night. I got a fair amount done today. I was able to rehang all the MDMF that I had to remove due to water damage from a leak outside. One of the window deletes from what I can tell. And I was able to get all that rehung. I've started in on the bathroom exterior walls as well hanging that and I've even had to create this cute little structure this big metal hose hanging out from underneath is a bit of an obstacle but I think I've come up with a really cute solution there'll be more tomorrow I'm back at it again this morning, y'all. I'm starting my day by packing these walls. There's not really a reason for adding insulation to these walls other than it's gonna help with sound deadening, which is nice when you're using a bathroom, in my opinion. <laughs> Let's see what more I can get done today. Y'all hang on, it'll be fun. I thought there was a monster in the bus. <laughs> How's it going in here? Great, tearing up my new wall. Don't you like it? I'm getting ready to position the shower pan so I can start building our shower wall, which is gonna be adhered to this. Nice. Did you see all my other walls I built today? I, I have seen your other walls. It's looking good in here, babe. It looks very bussy. That is gonna be one massive bathroom. I agree, look, I can sit down in here. <sighs> Got our little shelf area in the bedroom done too. This thing's coming together quick. Back on the roof he goes, guys. I'm always worried about him when he's up on tall things. Fun fact, he is too. He's deathly afraid of heights. Well, I ended my day up on top of that thing for quite a while. This time of year, there is a lot of pollen in this region and I had to hand scrub the entire thing which is tricky because that is 100% silicone. So when it gets wet, it's a slip and slide up there. But I scrubbed it and added a second coat and did a touch up. I also spent a whole lot of time in here today too. I'm gonna be waiting put a wall covering over this wall because I still have to run my vent tube up to the ceiling or up to the roof for the black tank. I worked on getting 
more of this beadboard installed. I've got my shower in place and I'm going to start laying cedar on this wall relatively soon. I also did this hallway. Not a bad day. It'll be different tomorrow. Guarantee it. Well guys, the Love Hut and Shane are going on an adventure without us. That's not normal for us, but he needs to go into town to get some supplies and someone has to be here to receive packages as they come in today. We've got a lot coming in today. Tixie is very, very unhappy with this morning's developments. We're kind of codependent. <laughs> Dixie, barking like that isn't going to make him come back any faster. I don't think she believes me, guys. Oh, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. I know. I was gone for so long. we got Ooh. we've got laced agates and fire agates and purple pastelite most of which from Arizona Guys, these still have one more round to go, but they will have to wait until the ones we showed you last week get finished with their last round. Um, next Friday, we'll get to show you more. Meanwhile, I've also been finishing up some other projects. As you can see, our tie-dye all turned out quite well. I've been doing a little bit of wire wrapping too. I took the seashells that we picked up on the Texas coast and the quartz crystals that we dug up in the Wachita National Forest and wrapped them in pure copper. What do you think guys? Could you see yourself wearing one of these? This one was done today, guys. I'm actually taking advantage of the high humidity levels in Southeast Texas to do some intentional aging. I think all of these turned out pretty cool. What'd you do today, Shane? Nothing. No, I didn't. I drove to town. I did lots of things. I, I refilled water. I bought groceries. I'm exhausted but nothing on the bus. Nothing on the bus. I think we can all agree that Shane deserves a day off every now and then, probably more than he takes. Guys, we wanna take this time to say thank you to each and every one of you who have been following us along this far. If you are looking to get a hold of us to get uh, your hands on some of that jewelry you've been seeing me make, then our Facebook page is a great way to do it. This week, all four of those pieces will be available for exclusively our YouTube and Facebook fans. While you're on that Facebook page, go ahead and hit that like button and you can go over to Instagram and do the same thing too. If you're trying to get a hold of us, that's a great way to, to do that through those direct messages or you can email us at lovehutforlife at gmail.com. Also guys, hit that share button. 
share us on your personal Facebook pages because you never know who in your life might be looking for someone like Shane to enter theirs. We will see you next week. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.